And now we turn our attention to the Senate race. All of us in Virginia are watching the matchup between Democrat Mark Warner and his Republican challenger, Ed Gillespie. At five, we checked in with the Warner campaign first. So this time around, we're checking in with Gillespie's campaign first. His headquarters are in Northern Virginia in Springfield. And ten of your sides, Aaron Kelly is there tonight. Aaron? Well, Ed Gillespie calls his campaign team the G-Force, and they say they have been out in force today all across the Commonwealth, shaking hands, uh, visiting some of those polling sites. And this weekend, he was in Hampton Roads campaigning with Republican Congressman Scott Rigel in Virginia Beach. Uh, we understand that Gillespie has picked up endorsements from President George H.W. Bush and Romney. Uh, he's the former White House aide and RNC chair. He's also a communications consultant. A recent CNU poll shows Gillespie has gained ground up five percentage points from an earlier poll in recent weeks, but he's still behind in Hampton Roads. And we did ask the communications director for the campaign about those reports of voter irregularities. He tells me that the campaign is watching those very closely and asking supporters to call in with any problems. We are expecting Gillespie to be here in Springfield at this hotel after polls close. We will be here all night. About 400 people have RSVP'd for this event. We will be here staying tuned for the results. For now, we're live in Springfield. Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side. Our special decision 2014 coverage continues now, and we are staying on the biggest race in Virginia. Before the break, we checked in with Republican Ed Gillespie's campaign. And now it's Democratic Senator Mark Warner's turn. The incumbent, 10 on your side's Andy Fox, is live in Arlington with the Warner campaign. Andy? Well, everyone here thinks he's going to win this race. The big question is, and the big story tonight will be, do Republicans across the country take over the U.S. Senate? Warner thinks he's going to win his seat. But I asked U.S. Senator Tim Kaine, what happens if Republicans do take over the Senate after the elections tonight? Are you troubled by the tightening of the polls? You know, no, and Mark expected it. He told his team right from the beginning, we'll start strong because we have name ID and our opponent doesn't. But when you get to the, all the TV ads, it'll tighten up. He recognized midterms can be tough. But, but again, campaigning for Mark, and I've done events from March till now, I see very strong support for him. I feel good, but look, it, the polls are still open till 7, so everybody's got to get up there and turn out. I think we'll do well. If Republicans take the Senate, how will Washington change tomorrow? How will it be different? How will it make a difference to the people? What will we know? What change will we I think it's, it's premature. I mean, and Mark and I will have the same job. Mark and I, our job is to go and work with anybody for things that are good for the country and, and will good for Will we see Virginia. any difference in the operation of Washington? And many people are frustrated with the way it is, so maybe they say, sure. hey, how can it get worse? Well, it, that, I mean, I think it remains to be seen. We may not know, Andy, we may not know for 60 days what the majority is. Because again, tonight there could be three options. You know, either the Democrats win, Democrats lose, or we end up with a Senate majority depending upon two runoffs. The second runoff in Georgia is in early January. So it, it's going to take some time to figure it out. But look, this, the Americans have the same problems. You know, can, can, can a family survive? Can a family get jobs? You know, what, what, what about what about health care? What about uh, minimum wage? What about the challenges we have overseas? The problems are the same regardless of the outcome tonight, and we got to work together. Well, one thing is for sure, if Republicans take over the Senate whenever it is finalized, if they do, it will make it much more difficult for President Obama to get anything through that he wants, and he actually becomes more of a lame duck in the event that that happens. And all eyes will be actually on North Carolina to see what happens in that race. You have a Democratic senator in North Carolina. The question is, in that very tight race, will the Republican win, and will that be one of the seats that switches over to the Republican? Republicans. Again, Republicans need to pick up six seats from Democrats in order to take over the U.S. Senate, and that will be the big story at the end of this election day. In Arlington, with the Warner campaign, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.